The gang behind the Hatton Garden raid of 56 safe deposit boxes has ruined the lives and livelihoods of some of its victims, a law suggester has said. Rick Marchant told the BBC it was mainly small businesses that had been hit by the burglary at Hatton Garden Safe Deposit LTD in London over Easter. He said he was dealing with seven clients who had lost items with an estimated value of £2 million in total. Victims are due to meet later to consider ways of getting compensation. The informal meeting has been organised by the London Diamond Bourse, the trade body for diamond dealers. An official for Bourse said they would consider if there was merit in appointing lawyers to help recover their money and if people who had lost out would contribute to the costs involved. The discussions are expected to focus on whether there is any hope of successfully suing Hatton Garden Safe Deposit CO and the Metropolitan Police. Mr Marchant, from Marchant and Marchant Limited, said, we are dealing here with mainly small businesses and they are not making huge profits. These aren't extremely wealthy people, for a lot of them their livelihoods have gone. All of us might be forgiven for thinking how audacious, how clever, but what the gang has done is ruin the lives of many people within the Hatton Garden Jewelry Quarter. In total, 72 safe deposit boxes were opened and the contents of 56 boxes were taken in the raid over the Easter weekend at the start of April. Jewelry, watches and other valuables were removed from the premises in wheelie bins and bags by the burglars. Their view was it is in a safety deposit box, the key word is safety, it should be okay and of course they have lost everything. Rick Marchant, Law Suggester A £20,000 reward has been offered for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the gang but no arrests have yet been made. I have been told by individuals I have interviewed that they have had friends and colleagues who work in the quarter with them, grown men, hardened dealers, they don't know what to do because of course some haven't insured at all, Mr Marchant said. Their view was it is in a safety deposit box, the key word is safety, it should be okay, and of course they have lost everything. Mr Marchant said for those who were not insured, the chances of recovering their sums were pretty remote. He said their only hope would be pursuing a recovery if it was found there had been negligence in terms of the security of their items. Mahendra Bhavishi, the director of Hatton Garden Safety Deposit LTD, has previously told the BBC he had no clue if the multi-million pound raid could have been an inside job. He said he was puzzled and surprised at how the burglars managed to get past the security measures. Police are still investigating why officers did not respond when an alarm went off while the intruders were in the building. The burglars first went into the building after 2100 hours BST on Thursday, April 2, and left shortly after 8 o'clock BST on Good Friday, April 3, police said. They returned to the scene soon after 2200 hours BST on Saturday, April 4 and were recorded on CCTV leaving the premises at about 6.40 BST on Easter Sunday, April 5.